But we keep talking also about how Joe Biden is so accident prone. And I've got to show this clip where Joe Biden is just going to his car and the reporter's yelling out to him that he's looking like he's got a lot of trouble in the polls. He tells them that they're reading the polls all, right, all wrong. And then we have an accident. Have a look. <laughs> Mr. President, why are you losing to Trump in the polls? Yeah, Kristen, and a car crashed into the back of the presidential motorcade. It's all OK. You can see the Secret Service officers are, are worried, of course, as you are in this day and age. But it's just typical of Joe Biden, isn't it, at the moment? The polls plunging, him in denial, and boom, crash. Yes, it's very emblematic for what's going on right now with this president. Um, I know people in Democrat elite circles are just desperate to get him to step aside and replace him with somebody. And that very well may happen, which I know has been your prediction, Chris. But there is a chance that this man is just so desperate to cling on to power that he'll refuse to step aside. I mean, Joe Biden uh, has wanted to become president since he was, you know, born. The day he was born, he wanted to become president, it seems. So uh, I'm not sure he's going to step aside so easily. We'll, we'll find out. But if he wants to stay and he refuses to go, the Democrats have a real problem. And the only thing they can do, the only thing they can do is just try to uh, make Trump so terrifying to suburban voters and independents that they will just hold their nose and vote for Biden. But I'm just not sure that's going to work this time around like it did last time. Yeah, it's been a hell of a year, of course, Kristen. We've talked about every every twist along the road. I suppose the highlights have been the political turmoil with the the former president and Republican front runner Donald Trump turning up in court facing those uh, prosecutions. There was the drama on the Hill with the, the speaker being tossed aside, uh, of course. But the real theme of the year has been the decline, the mental decline of the president, Joe Biden. Uh, just time and time again, he looks uncertain, confused and befuddled. Here, here's a little collection. The Grand Canyon, one of the Earth's nine wonders, wonders of the world. Literally. Over a billion, three hundred million, trillion, three hundred million dollars. And I love your ears. I love them. They're really cool. What's your name? Jackson. If you, if it holds near and dear to you that you uh, um, like to be able to... Anyway. Oh, just some of the highlights, Kristen. There'll be more to come. So... Tell us, uh, as you say, there's, there's pressure on Joe Biden. Some Democrats, many Democrats, polls show, would, would prefer he steps aside and they get another candidate. But what do you say uh, after such a tumultuous year? What are you predicting for 2024, the election year? Look, I've actually come around to your view on this, Chris. I suspect that, you know, at the last minute, the Democrats are going to force Biden aside and that they will replace him with someone fresh like Gavin Newsom, who will be able to trick essentially Americans into voting for the same left wing nonsense that has destroyed this country under Joe Biden. Someone like Newsom would, um, you know, appear to be a break from the constant chaos that people perceive surrounding the other two candidates, Trump and Biden. And, you know, if they do it last minute like that, it gives Republicans far less time to dig up dirt on Newsom and run against him. So that's certainly what they want. And uh, they gave Gavin Newsom a test when um, they put him on Fox News here in the United States and actually had him debate Ron DeSantis. Gavin Newsom did a very good job. He's very slick at, you know, presenting these really disastrous policies that have destroyed his state of California, where he's governor, as being wonderful and empowering and um i i've come around to your view on that chris i i truly believe that joe biden will not be the nominee um he just does not have the the physical or mental strength at this point and it's gotten to the point where people i know even staunch biden supporters just cringe every time they hear him talk and they they feel bad for him i mean this is a man who should be enjoying his last years with his grandchildren and instead he's being wheeled out in front of the country to be laughed at because he can't even get through a sentence of English. We shall see, Kristen. You have yourself a good Christmas and New Year and I can't wait to catch up and see what unfolds in 2024, the Thank election you. year. Thank you very much, Chris. Merry Christmas.